Now let's talk about Python scripts and APIs. So Python is a powerful right, and easy to use programming language. It is an ideal language for scripting and rapid application development. Because it has efficient high-level data structures and a simple but effective approach to object-oriented programming. Python is an ideal language for automation and management because of its elegant syntax and dynamic typing, as well as its interpreted nature. Because the Cisco networking product line supports Python, you can use it to edit and modify existing scripts as well as create new ones to automate Cisco networking tasks across the enterprise. The Python interpreter and extensive standard library are available for free on the Python website, which is this one, um, in source or binary form or all major uh, platform. Many Cisco switches and routers include a Python interpreter and can be used to run scripts and programs on end devices directly. In addition to the interpreter, the device have Python libraries that give them direct access to the device's operations, allowing them to run CLI commands or watch for events. Like for example, you can use the device to run a single CLI command or a batch, or a batch of a CLI commands. Python scripts can also be used to in interact with external APIs of various Cisco platforms such as NetConf, RESTConf, and REST, and so on. For example, you can also use Cisco Python script to retrieve data from a Cisco APIC EM okay, by a REST API. So now let's talk about the Cisco FMC and Python interaction. So the Cisco FMC REST API lets you automate tasks like retrieving audit records, creating objects and policies, and registering devices. Because Python scripts can interact with the Cisco FMC REST API, you can use object-oriented programming to perform the same network automation tasks. You can write your own scripts or look for a collection of tools or common tasks on the Cisco FMC at httpsgithub.com. As a result, you can find the repository of Python scripts to perform some routine change faster, which is usually time consuming when using the Cisco FMC GUI. You can use the Cisco FMC Legacy API Explorer to create your own Python scripts. When you select an API and use one of its request methods, you can use the export operation uh, in button in the Legacy API Explorer's API console section to quickly report the displayed method example in scripting language. Methods can be exported in Python or uh, Perl scripts, right, as shown here, using uh, Legacy API Explorer. This script can be used to make the REST call and integrate it into your app, and this is primarily intended as a learning and bootstrapping tool. So the following are the contents of the Python script that uses the Cisco FMC REST APIs, right? So this is the whole code. This is the whole code, right? And this part in here, right? I uh, just uh, zoom, it, zoom it in. Um, it's going to show you the required libraries, which is this, and the FMC IP address, or you can put the host name. Okay, so that's the first part. Then you got the username and password for authentication, right, in here. Uh, which is at the beginning of the code. And you have um, the code for code generation of the authentication token in here. And next is you have the actual uh, request body, right, or the REST API. And after this one, you should be able to get the status code, right? So there's a lot of codes there. If you see a 200 OK, then you should be able to receive the, the one that you're trying to get, okay? So this is the end of the lesson. Um, here we covered SDN concepts. We also discussed network programmability and automation. We talked about Cisco platforms and APIs, and we discussed about a, a sample file and script that is being used to communicate to the Cisco Far Power Management Center, or FMC. Thank you very much for watching the video.